Okay, so what's this picture look like, right? So here's an ego. Uh, we have, um, right? We, we've done it. We've solved this before, but reduce row echelon form for the A and for A transpose. We see that uh, the rank is one, right? Pivot free, pivot. Oops, pivot free. Gosh, pivot free and free, and there's a pivot and a free. Over, over here, so R equals 1. So column space and row space, right, the big pieces, they're one-dimensional. So column space is a one-dimensional space, in this case, inside of a two-dimensional one, and row space is one-dimensional inside of three dimensions. Now, we can do this in more or less, you know, kind of confusing ways, but, um, and, and I, I'll let me just reprise some of the things. So our basis for row space and column space, they're just sitting here, right? There's column space. Uh, sorry, there's column space and there's row space. So bases, let's just write them down and I'll just pull out the ones that we've had, had from before. Column space of A, um, the left null space of A, and row space, and null space. Right, so it's just going to be um, one, two, one. I'm sorry, um, one, two over here. Yep, and then one, two, one. Right, that's what's left in in this character here. These ones we had to work a little bit harder for, but we have them. So one dimension, one dimension. So there's only one piece in there. So we ended up with. Minus two one zero and minus one zero one. Two basis vectors and the dimension of dimension, it's n minus r, which is three minus one, which equals two. Good. This dimension will be m minus r, right, which is two minus one, which equals one. And in fact, that's what we get, right? So we just have minus two and one. So let's just sketch that one out again quickly. I think that's all we're, we're going to do here. Uh, and I, this this is hard to draw, right? So this null space is hard to draw. Um, you know, if we're just going to draw a three dimension. So let's rotate it. Let's just sort of look from a different angle and, and kind of make it up a little bit. So this is going to be one, two, one, this vector. All right, and then let's have it like this. And then at some angles to it, and in fact, they must be right angles, right? So you can take the dot product of these things. So column, anything in row space is a dot product. Dot product with anything in null space is zero. So those things are at right angles. These are not at right angles to each other. So these aren't a beautiful basis. So not a beautiful basis. So there's going to be more later, hashtag more later about that. So these are not at right angles. Let's just sort of, these are just, this is just schematic now, minus one, zero, one. But this forms a basis um, for a plane. And then there's a 1D line here, right? So um, let's keep going up here. Right, so this is the column space of a transpose. This is row space, and this is null space. So any vector in general can be written as some linear combination of this nice vector here um, and, and these two basis vectors. Okay. And this it's easier over here, which is just two dimensions. So this is R3, this is N, and this is R2, and this is um, M. And so I won't, now we can kind of put some more pieces on here. This is y1 and y2. There is, of course, the zero vector in there. And this is, so it's one, two. So it looks like this, column space of A. Let's put a curve on that one. And minus two, one. I know, I know you're still awake. It's great, you're still awake. Okay, yes. Left null space, cannot make it. So. If we take any vector over here, 
map it over. The only place it's going to, that really is sad. The only place it will end up in is along column space, uh, along this one dimensional line here. So let's take a, a vector. <coughs> Right, it's got some part in uh, null space. It's got some part in row space. This is x itself. And so that's this x is going to be sent over to some point here, a times, and let's call this b. Let's say we've got a nice b that's in column space, x equals b. And same kind of story again, a times x n, the null space vector, is equal to 0. It gets mapped away, and it's really this part here as well. A times the row vector is equal to B. Right? And X contains these two pieces, row, no space. Um, so that's yeah, so this is a little harder to see, but it's but but now it, it, you know it's a bit richer. Uh, there's a two-dimensional plane that's null space. So any vector in this place gets sent to zero. Any vector in this simple line gets mapped to this line. So now there's a line in three dimensions that gets sent to this line. And we showed in class that um, when you take this line, when you map any point on this line, it will go over to here and stretch by a factor of square root of 30. So if we, you know, row space to column space can be mapped, um, it's invertible. It's, uh, so it's a one by one matrix, right, Inigo is a one by one matrix, kind of, on the inside, this is R by R, the rank, and sort of, and it's equivalent to the square root of 30, right, so it takes, it takes the points along here, puts them in the right, you have to get the orientation right, and then stretches them out. And yeah, so this is right. So one, two, one. So this is the this direction will map, map onto this one. So <clears throat> the same uh, story holds here, right? So we can lift into this more general piece. Yeah. Uh, so now we have a two-dimensional plane here. This is really one-dimensional, and these are one and one. But that same general big picture uh, is, you know collapses down to represent this. All right, let's uh, let's go and visit Fezzik. He's really a terrific fellow. 